ulnar artery. It is the largest terminal branch of the brachial artery and arises in the cubital fossa at the level of the neck of the radius. Course. It travels downwards and reaches the medial side of the forearm. Its course is oblique in the upper one-third and straight in the lower two-thirds. The median nerve crosses the ulnar artery from the medial to lateral side 2.5 cm distal to the elbow. It enters the hand by passing superficial to the flexor retinaculum just lateral to the ulnar nerve and ends by giving rise to the superficial palmar arch of the hand. Relations Anterior relations The upper part is covered by the following muscles Pronator teres, flexor carpi radialis, palmaris longus, flexor digitorum superficialis, and flexor carpi ulnaris. The lower part is subcutaneous and is only covered by fascia. Posterior relations. Initially, it lies on the brachialis and later it lies on the flexor digitorum profundus. Medially, it is related to the ulnar nerve and flexor carpi ulnaris. Laterally, it is related to the flexor digitorum superficialis. Branches. Common interosseous artery. It divides into anterior and posterior branches. Anterior recurrent ulnar artery. It anastomoses with the inferior ulnar collateral artery in front of the medial epicondyle. Posterior recurrent ulnar artery. It anastomoses with the superior ulnar collateral arteries behind the medial epicondyle. Palmar and dorsal ulnar carpal branches take part in the formation of the carpal arches. Muscular branches are given off to the surrounding muscles. Deep palmar branch takes part in the formation of the deep palmar arch. Superficial palmar branch forms the superficial palmar arch. Common interosseous artery. It is a branch of the ulnar artery that arises near its origin and bifurcates almost immediately into anterior and posterior interosseous arteries. Anterior interosseous artery. It is one of the main sources of blood supply in the forearm. It is the deepest artery in the forearm. It arises from the common interosseous artery. It anastomoses with the posterior interosseous artery and joins in formation of the dorsal carpal arch. Posterior interosseous artery. It passes over the top of the superior border of the interosseous membrane to its posterior side where it emerges from beneath the supinator muscle in the posterior forearm compartment adjacent to the posterior interosseous nerve. It gives off an interosseous recurrent artery which participates in the anastomosis around the elbow joint. Clinical correlation. Aberrant ulnar artery. In about 2 to 5% of individuals, the ulnar artery originates proximal in the arm and passes superficial to the forearm flexor muscles. In such cases, it is known as the superficial ulnar artery. This should always be kept in mind while drawing blood or giving intravenous injections as this artery may be mistaken for a vein and might get injured resulting in bleeding.